In response to the vaping crisis, the CDC opened its emergency operations center to help investigate cases of lung injuries tied to e-cigarettes. This is part of a widespread effort to determine the health effects of vaping. CBS 2's Mark Liverman tells us how some are now taking a closer look at flavoring. Scientists from Yale's School of Medicine are getting the word out about their research on flavored e-cigarettes. Their findings show chemical reactions between the flavor compounds and the liquid nicotine in vaping products. So what is being added by the manufacturer is not actually the chemical compounds that the users are being exposed to. There are chemical reactions happening in the liquid. Researchers at Yale showed us the custom vaping machine they built to analyze the chemical makeup of flavors. Many of these chemicals are known to be inflammatory agents, are known to have toxic effects, but we still have to determine things like what concentration and dose do these inflammatory effects appear. Researchers say flavors are a big worry because they attract children and teens to start vaping. The Trump administration is moving to ban the sale of flavored e-cigarettes, and many states, including New York, are taking their own steps. Adding to concerns, a new study from researchers at Duke Health. It shows a flavoring ingredient that can potentially cause cancer is found in high levels of e-cigarette liquids and smokeless tobacco products. The chemical called Pulagone is in menthol and mint products. This is really a big health concern for the vapors because they are putting this chemical in much, much higher levels than what is accepted by FDA. The FDA banned the chemical as a food additive last year. Mark Liverman, CBS News, New York.